Dude, he's got dry, I, I didn't even read the ingredients. We got dry ranch mix in here again. You are sneaking one past me, man. Today's video has been a long time coming. So normally when I film a video featuring whatever product, it'd be the first time I've ever had this. This is insanely not the case today for most of it. So this is Deep Safety Hot Peppers and they make some of the most amazing pretzels that I've ever had. They're so freaking good. So he sent me the, he sent me a sampling of his pretzels like months ago. I want to say maybe even a year, a year ago. I opened them and they were, they're, they're, they're so delicious. I ate them all. I just ate them and the video never happened. But actually, no, I ate them and I made the decision that uh, I have a future video that's coming out. That'll be coming out sometime this fall. One of my favorite things about spicy food and sharing like the spicy journey that I'm on or whatever is to try to introduce friends and family and whatnot to it. So, I mean, at my house, I have like a whole lineup of tinctures and, you know, if I have somebody over for dinner or something like that, I always, at the end, I'm breaking out the tinctures and breaking out whatever spicy products I have. When I was going to trivia, I'd be bringing stuff to trivia, you know, trying to get my friends and family always into more spicy products. And so I want to do a video featuring this. So like when the holidays ro roll around, uh, you guys have my recommendations or the things that I'm excited about to bring to your holiday party for friends and family, blah, 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 whatever that looks like this year, which is going to be crazy. But anyways, this is one of those products, but he has a new product and it's going to be in today's video. All right, jumping into it. This is Deep Safety Hot Peppers Infused Pretzels and he makes four different varieties. He makes a jalapeno, a ghost pepper, a ghost pepper with brown sugar and a new Carolina Reaper. And I have not had his Reaper and we're going to see if it brings the heat. So, we're gonna be focusing on three of them today. We're gonna be focusing on his jalapeno, which is pretty new, his, um, his ghost pepper and brown sugar, which is honestly my personal favorite at the moment, and then his brand new Carolina Reaper, which I have not had yet. So, the tasting is going to be pretty obvious. So we're gonna start off with his jalapeno. So, he doesn't make the pretzels, but he does, in his, on his farm, in his house, he grows all of the peppers that go into it, and he does a very good job. So I'm gonna, I don't think it needs to get a shake. I'm gonna give it a shake. The first two are, they're definitely in that snackable realm. I'm hoping the Reaper kind of pushes it outside that snackable realm. We'll see though. So I don't really know what he does to make his pretzel so amazing, but they look like this. They're perfectly coated. They're just absolutely delicious. Okay, so there's a whole list of ingredients in here I will Put them right there for you guys. There's a lot going on in here. But we're talking about jalapeno here. Jalapeno. And I am definitely seeing that there is uh, dry ranch mix in You know me, I'm not a fan of ranch, but you snuck one past me. All right. So delicious. The smallest amount, let's see if I can get like, this is the most coated one I can find. Lightly salty, huge kind of like flavor bomb. I guess they're kind of ranch-y. First time on Tar Love, I've ever liked anything that has ranch on it. A very, very mild heat, extremely approachable. This is the kind of thing that I can open this up and watch a movie and it's going to be gone immediately. Like. Insanely snackable. I'm gonna say like the flavor of heat, we're putting this at a one on my scale. You know, we're talking like the flavor of like Frank's Red or something, sorry. We're talking about the heat of those like highly commercial, of those like highly commercial hot sauces, Frank's, things like that. Like that's the heat we're talking about here. Not flavor, the flavor is just absolutely incredible. The heat, we're talking super snackable, super, super mild. Okay, moving on. This is currently my personal favorite. Let's see if that continues when I get to the Reaper, because I'm really hoping that the Reaper is just going to be just rocking. So, we're talking ghost pepper and brown sugar. Let me get this little shake. I don't even know if I need to, but I am. Uh, again, these are very snackable, at least on my, in my opinion. Uh, let's see where they are, where the... Dude, he's got dry... I, I didn't even read the ingredients. We got dry ranch mix in here again. You are sneaking one past me, man. So he's got dehydrated ghost peppers, dry ranch mix, uh, buttermilk powder, blah, 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 blah. And then brown sugar is the last ingredient. So it's not like super, super sweet. And the heat is definitely there. So 
It's actually, it's been like a month or so since I've had these. So I need to like revisit how hot they are. So this is what we're getting ourselves into. This is what we're looking at. They're not as coated as the jalapeno ones, but cheers people. Mm. Mm. They're not as like herbaceous as the jalapeno ones. They have this like light to medium brown sugar flavor and then the, the ghost pepper, the more you eat of them, the more that it like starts coming in. It's very accumulative. Again, again, from my palate, extremely snackable. I'm gonna put this at like like a two, a two plus, maybe into like the low, 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 low three. If you ate like enough of these, like you're gonna get you're gonna get going if you eat enough of these. I love ghost peppers. I love the heated ghost peppers. Um, I'm getting no flavor from the super hot here. But I'm definitely getting the heat. I feel it on the top of my tongue, kind of like mid tongue. Um, nothing in the you know the stomach or the chest or anything like that. But it's just like on top of the tongue. Very very like approachable ghost pepper heat. But again, the more you eat, the more cumulative it's going to be. So you got like the heat, you got the sweet. It's very snackable. Like this is something that you could you know have. Like I wouldn't give this to like real real little kids. But I mean, eight nine ten year old kid would be like if you're if they're like like. You're into super spicy food, they want to try something for the first time, like this is something that they could definitely think and then like, they're not going to go run for a glass of milk or something like that. Like, this is definitely on that level. My personal favorite thus far. Okay. This is why we are here. These are right here. So, Deep Safety Hot Pepper Infused Pretzels. Carolina Reaper. So he, I can't believe he snuck past me with these freaking ranch seasonings on here. I didn't know. I had no idea. So, get the dry ranch mix. Okay, dehydrated Carolina Reapers are right in the middle of all these ingredients. So, man, it's got so much going on here. It's got that dry ranch mix, it's got buttermilk powder, dehydrated vegetables, which is a garlic and onion. Uh, oh, there's sugar in here. Uh, dehydrated parsley, and then spices including white pepper, yeast extract, xanthan gum, spice extra tips. I'm wondering if it's gonna smell like Reapers. If it smells like Reapers, then we're gonna be talking about some legit heat. I can kind of see some Reaper pepper. I think I smelled a Reaper. There's a very mild, but it's there for sure, Reaper essence coming from this. It might be legit hot. All right, let's grab three. So, super coated. Uh, kind of coated on the level of the jalapeno ones. Not quite the brown sugar ones, but, uh, oh, I'm saying like the, the jalapeno ones are the most coated. The brown sugar ones, slightly less so. This is like kind of right in the middle. So, all right, I'm gonna take on three and see where it happens, where we land. Okay, cheers, people. It's got that where you chew and it like dusts you know, straight to my my nose. Mmm. The flavor of Reapers is here. A little bit of sweetness. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna let this kind of like start to build a little bit. This is good. This is nice. This has got some legit heat, which I really appreciate. So just like the ghost pepper, or like any super hot pepper, um, it's going to be accumulative. So the more you eat, the more the, that like that heat is going to invade your senses and whatnot. And so I had like I had like five or six of them. I'm probably sitting at like a a three to so a three plus right now. Um, legit hot. Like for me, I'd say that this is still on that snackable realm. If I were to try to take that entire thing, I think I would run into a little bit of issue. You know. So the the flavor of Reapers is there. Absolutely, but it's very, very mild, um, flavor-wise. Heat-wise, pretty darn hot. Um, I would say it's still snackable in that realm, maybe almost crossing into like chili head snackable. But this is going to blow some people out, for sure. You know, if you like super spicy food, then this is going to be something that you're into, because it is legit hot. And the more I talk, like the more like that Reaper heat is coming. I love the burn of Reaper so much, and this has got this, so it's all over the tongue, got my tongue wings going, slight burn to the back of the throat. Um, dude, these are great. You need to make deep safety peppers. Carolina Reaper brown sugar, please. 
I'm not a big sweet guy. I don't eat a lot of sugar, but his pretzels with brown sugar on them are next level, something amazing. So a Reaper brown sugar it might cover up like that minute flavor of the Carolina Reaper, because I personally don't like the flavor of Reapers, and just kind of just cover that up a little bit and bring some brown sugar and some extra sweetness in there. Boom! It'd be so good. So good. Dude, take these chocolate covered versions of these. Oh my god, there's so many different things you can do. Okay. Um, these are some of the best pretzels I've ever had in my life. In the description below, I'm gonna leave a link to these. You guys can check these out as well. So, small operation, deep safety hot pretzels doing their thing, making a quality product, making a delicious product. Um, I plan on featuring these again later on in the year when it comes to like holiday, a holiday gathering, snack time, what you should bring to your holiday party slash family gathering. Anyways, Carolina Reaper infused pretzels. Yes, please. I love them. Um, I'm gonna say the ghost pepper brown sugar is still my favorite though. Even though I love the heat from that Reaper, super good. And the Help Anyone's are really good too. Extremely snackable. Anyways, in the description below, link to these. Oh. I love them. I love them so. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.